So today's meditation is focused on using meditation as a way to relieve stress. So we're going to begin in an easy seat, whatever that means to you. We will be in the seat for a little bit of time, about 30 minutes. So make sure you get comfortable. You can sit on the floor with blocks or blankets. You can sit in a chair or on the sofa with your feet grounded. If any of that or all of that is uncomfortable, you can even lay on your back. Just take a moment, find what works for you. And throughout the meditation too, feel free to adjust. If you feel pain in your knees, pain in, pain in your spine, no worries. Just alter your position, take what you need and always stay comfortable and easy. So finding that easy seat, soften your attention, close your eyes and we'll begin to settle in. Take a moment in this easy seat. Ground your pelvis. Ground your feet. Let your hands rest comfortably where they fall. Soften your eyes in their sockets. Release any tension in your cheekbones, your jaw, your teeth, your tongue. And bring your attention to your breath. Just notice, is your breath full? Is it shallow? Is it smooth or is it getting stuck anywhere? Is it loud? Or is it quiet? Is it soft? Notice how one inhale leads into an exhale. And once that exhale ends, it's over. You move on to a new breath in and a new breath out. Touching this breath and then this breath and then this breath. Sit here now in this calm stillness, watching your breath.
Bring your attention now to the fullness of each breath. Feel the energy of your breath as it moves in through your nostrils, fills your lungs, expands your chest and brightens your spine. Can you catch the top of that inhale, the pause at the peak of your breath in? Sit in the fullness and stillness of that pause and then let it go. Let it drop into the depth of your exhale. Fully empty your lungs, press the air out, and then pause. Notice the stillness, the calm, the quiet, and then let it go. Begin again into your next inhale with the same focus on fullness, same attention on the pause and the space at the top and the bottom of every breath. you catch yourself drifting away on passing thoughts, simply pause, smile, bring your awareness back to the points in your body that are grounded, your feet, your pelvis, your hands, and return your focus back to your breath. Again and again, as many times as you need to, come back to the breath.
Now soften your attention. Allow your breath to course naturally through your body. Today, we'll touch upon using meditation as a way to reduce stress. Every day we move through stress. Our bodies are programmed to handle it by either fighting it or running from it. When we encounter stress, our sympathetic nervous system is triggered and levels of certain chemicals are elevated in order to give us the adrenaline and energy we need to either face or flee from the stressor. This natural response is helpful in dangerous situations. It can keep us safe. However, a prolonged state of such agitation can cause physical damage to every part of the body. We were not meant to be on high alert mode 24 hours a day, and yet this is how many of us live. We step out of one storm right into the next without taking time to assess for and repair damages. We have accepted living in stress and assume that an exhausted, agitated, chaotic body, mind, and soul is normal. This is not healthy. This is not sustainable. Now, stress will always be here. Challenges will always surface and our fight or flight response will continue to be triggered. This is inevitable. It's a part of life. We can't escape it. In doses, it's actually good for us. It builds strength and confidence and teaches us life lessons. But if we never step out of the storm, it will deplete us. It will beat us up. It will take all of our fuel and inevitably our focus and fortitude will be compromised. The good news is we have meditation. Meditation invites us to step out of the storm. Meditation provides a sacred space in which we can nourish our body, cultivate the tools needed to manage stress, and take a break from the storm. Now, opposite of stress, which we said stimulates our sympathetic nervous system, our fight or flight response. Meditation revs up our parasympathetic nervous system. It turns on our body's rest and digest mode, which slows things down. Meditation restores the body to a calm state, helping the body repair, regenerate, replenish, and giving our organs and nervous systems a chance to catch their breath. Meditation gives us a chance to unload, to release our grip on the weight that builds up when we hold on to and you to stack up stress. As humans, we are both blessed and cursed with a discerning mind. This mind can either keep us caught under the burden of stress, or it can be the key to freedom from it. Meditation teaches us to watch this mind. When we meditate, we are able to observe. We can observe the separation between us and our thoughts. 
and eventually discover the power we have over them. So with regular practice, meditation helps us govern our response to stress and recover from stressful situations more easily. Now we learn to do this because instead of letting our thoughts have free reign to impulsively react to the pressures of stress, we learn how to contain and manage our thoughts. We can use the calm, still space of clarity we find in meditation, observe our thoughts, and then consciously, compassionately, and deliberately respond in a more mindful, appropriate way. As we sit for these last few moments, become the observer. See if you can find the separation between you, the observer, and the thoughts in your mind. Be still. Sit. Observe. And as thoughts flow into your mind, can you exercise your power to detach from them? Detach and let your thoughts pass on by. Our thoughts tangle us up in stories and illusions. Meditation can help us sort through. To let unnecessary thoughts go. And to really find clarity as to which thoughts we need to fight or flee from or take rest from. Thank you. 
With regular meditation, we can zero in on the reality of a situation and let the excess stress go. As John Wellwood says, meditation provides a way of learning how to let go. As we sit, the self we've been trying to construct and make into a nice, neat package continues to unravel. Slowly start to deepen your breath and come back into your body. Refill your feet on the floor, your pelvis, your hands. You might wiggle your fingers, your toes. And gently bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you can take two, three, ten, thirty minutes a day just to be still to separate yourself from the stories, the chaos, the illusion, the storm, and have a moment to really be clear and pick those things that are worth stepping into. Get rid of those things that aren't. Yeah, take a little time for yourself to breathe, to rest, to digest, and then return with more ability to manage stress.